Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. I'm staying well out of range on this one. Can I too? <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to make sure I stay out of your way. Well, we got some rats. You like rats? I don't think mamba that has achieved this height, uh, not height, the length, has come out of the wild, is going to be so dumb as to go down a tube that was sent in with rat. would be nice, but I, I really don't think so, because mambas just are too smart. They're not, they're not like uh, Twitchy the forest cobra uh, that was highly food motivated, was born in captivity, has known me since uh, practically hatching. Um, on the other hand, you have a wild snake here uh, whose mouth is already snapping and I'm not even moving. Um, he knows something's up. Uh, very perceptive animal. down the tube and be that easy. Otherwise I have to confront him head on. And I know that is no fun because I've done it. Okay. Yeah, I heard the yell that went with it. Well, you have a mamba pop out of a container <laughs> in your face and you too will scream like that. <laughs> I mean, not just from, you know, the fact that it's a mamba, but just the sheer surprise. Oh, yeah. Come on. I was downstairs and I heard it, and I was upstairs in a flash. at the end of the tube investigating. He hasn't tried to kill it or bite it like the red spitting cobra. But he is unflicking it and backing off. Oh, well. <laughs> Open. You think I'm a dummy, uh, regular run in the mill culver there, Viper Keeper? sort of hang at the door. Okay. And he 
he's not adding any of it. Should I keep this open just in case? Yeah, keep it open in case you need to back out. And get out of your way. Let's try this. We'll, uh, we'll do this like we're cleaning the cage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All coiled up in the back. You know something's up. Oh yeah. Come on, bud. Come on. No, I don't want to come out. Well, I don't want him to come out either all at once. I want him to come out. Oh, thank you for wrapping your tail around my wrist. That makes my little anus go. <laughs> in here visiting my testicles which are at the back of <laughs> up in my pelvis also. Hello. Okay. Step one. Okay. Step one. Mamba in a can. <laughs> Very unhappy Mamba in a can. Oh. Well let him wear himself out a little. Oh yeah. No I'm not. <laughs> oh. Uh, watch Al. He's going to lift the lid right away. And we'll hear another, ah! You are a beautiful animal, but you are as dangerous as they come as far as black mambas. This guy, at operational temperature 90, 95 degrees in Africa, are the ones that make my friends, who do this all the time, quake with uh, fear. And this guy's only mid-80s. Yeah, we'll throw some ice cubes in there. <laughs> yeah, got some dry ice there, Viper Keeper. <laughs> well, I mean, that's how Steve uh, Irwin, uh, rest his soul, uh, uh, used to get all those scenes with a lot of the venomous and stuff that he was handling, the taipans, the mulga snakes, uh, uh, everything was was kept in a, a, a cool trailer and an ice chest uh, uh, cooled down so they were a little bit more manageable. Makes sense to me. <clears throat> Knowing how fast these guys are. Oh, now he's just going to rest. <laughs> he knows something else is coming. Yes, he's got to okay. save we'll, his energy. We'll now back up because we're going to see if he'll... <laughs> this is the fun part. You have a ballistic missile with a highly armed warhead rising vertically up through the uh, atmosphere here towards your hand, and you've got to get the uh, warhead in the, in the tube. Hello. Oh, back at it. I, I, yes, I know you're happy to see me. <laughs> you know, I could do this rudely and get the uh, gentle giant tongs and just grab them by the head and be done with it. But, you know, I, I, you know, even if it means my own hide, I would rather not do that. Because I could injure the animal, uh, and that's not what I'm all about. Huh? Huh? Come on. Come on. It, it's hard to get him in the tube with his mouth open like that. <laughs> we need a bigger tube. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a ballistic missile. Okay. 
higher out. That's that's good. That's good. Come on. Let's get your little come on, put your little nose right there. Yeah, yeah, you can smell the air. Come on. <laughs> Ooh. He means business. Come on. He wants to kill you. Now I am exercising something which my mentor uh, and friend Don Ridala said, never press a bad position with a venomous snake. So I'm not in any hurry to do this. Uh, I would rather it get tired out a little bit and then let it make the mistake, not Mr. Viper Keeper. Here's the hand. Come get it. Get it. Wow, what a view. Yep, there's that black mouth. You know, I can't get you in the tube with your mouth open. Yeah. The problem is, he's so fast. I know. I really have to uh, make sure that I have him in the position that I want him. And he doesn't have me in the position he wants me. Look at that, just keeps coming. That is a huge snake. <laughs> Can you slide the bucket out of the way? Ramrod, please. Oh, never mind, he's, he's taken. Okay. I just don't want the head uh, rocketing up through there. this just in case. Okay. Where are my time things that they are? Support that, please. One hand. I'm sweating, and I didn't do anything. <clears throat> Really get that adrenaline pumping. Uh, ew, he gets the pu poop coming too. Yeah. Or was that? Uh, well, okay. I think it was him, but uh, I'm not certain. So much for your clean floor, Mrs. Viper Keeper. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, well. That comes with the territory. <clears throat> All right. Let me get another bag. still have the peanut gallery watching. You know, I'm really, uh, sad to see him go, but I really needed uh, a much larger cage with him, and, you know, I'm not a big advocate of trap boxes and stuff, because I think you need to be able to work the snake uh, to keep your skill set up, uh, but this is a snake that, 
uh, probably uh, would benefit from a trap box because you would uh, be able to enjoy a longer life with it <laughs> in your house. Um, that is uh, that is one big tough customer. That's as difficult of a black mamba that I've ever worked. Link. Okay, uh, because there's three male Jameson Mambas, I don't need three males, uh, so one is going to go off uh, someplace else, hopefully, to find a female. And since there's three in there, Blunt and Slinky are staying behind, of course, because they're the ones that I interact with uh, uh, the best. Uh, so obviously the easiest thing to do is let Slinky slink out of the cage so then I only have two to deal with. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to do. The target snake is this guy over here. Come on, Slink. Oh, I mean, you just checked that out last night. It hasn't changed since last night. Just come on. Come on, Slink. You know, optimize your out time. Okay, okay. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on, no nervous thumb flicks required. Come on. Come on. Yes, I'm inviting you out. Come on. He's still pissed from last night when he was in his hidey hole and I dragged his ass out. Huh? Is that it? You're holding a grudge? Come on. Come on, make it easy uh, for me. Of course you won't now. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I touched there, so you naturally have to check that out, huh? not getting closer because I may be the reason why he's so skittish. He doesn't come out that often when I'm in here. Hi. Hi, yeah, it's pretty hot. You're okay. The boom strikes again. Will you come on? You know, they never ever do what you want them to do. Come on. Slinky Bridge. Oh, damn. damn. Hurry up, Slinky. We're running out of battery time. <laughs> <laughs> Funny has his eye tilted all the way up. Oh, 
Okay. Something tastes very good on those twist ties. Well, it's, or it's or either that or it's something he's never experienced before. Hello there. Hi, bud. You want to come out? Come on. Oh, of course, Lingy, you have to come over here and complicate your life. No, don't come visit me, thank you. We set up a highway for you, now go use it. Yeah. Really? Come on. Get a move on. Scoot your boot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on up your, uh, your lift there. I'll do it my own way, thank you. But yes, you're the one that I actually want. The problem is I can't get a fix on uh, uh, what's you and uh, hello. No, it's not food. Oh, he's going off into the corner. Yeah, he sometimes will do that. Uh, now, I really don't like him to do that, but right now I'm not really in a position to, uh, to say, come on. A lot of times he'll turn around and uh, and hang out over there. Well, he's taking, he's checking out the doctor's uh, paperwork. I know, I know you want to like me. I know, I know. Hi there. Yeah, he's going off into the cabinet. He's okay right there. Um, what do you need? Uh, you want to hold open the bag and I'll uh, put him inside. Oops, because he's pooping. No, don't bite yourself. Okay, you can do that. Okay, I got this. Oh, you stinker. How about that, huh? Hmm. You are a little stinker. 
Okay, let's try that again. And they're so susceptible to infections in their mouth. Now, there's no way in hell I can release that head and get out of the bag in one piece. Okay. Yes, I'll take one of those. Thank you. was a challenge. Hmm. <laughs> Getting Slinky out of there will be a challenge too. But yeah, he's in the meantime. See the the only thing that's the problem is this guy let loose musk, which is a flight and freight sort of a deal. Um, and uh, that might set Slinky off on the defensive rather than being his normal class itself. What are you knocking down over there? Well, there's certainly plenty of that for him to do. Where the heck are you? Now he sounds like he's behind me. What do you think you're doing? Come on, Slink. Come on. Where's that pointy end? Come on back this way. He's coming out the other side. Oh, okay. Back to this one. I don't like them being in that corner because there's a couple places where they could potentially get into that would really be a problem getting them out. Well, there's only a little bit of tail left. <laughs> and I still don't see the other end. Well, 
He's all coiled up under here. Here's the nose. Hi. Hi, Slink. Oh, there you are. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Behind you. There we go. Hello there. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> you can't get me easily either. Like a drink of water, huh? Oh, is that nice, huh? That's service, huh? There you go, have some water. Have some service. Have some water. Okay, that's Ooh. it for tonight. Uh, I am certainly ready to set sail for Captain Morgan, but my night is not totally done yet. Uh, I have to weigh and box them and uh, get them logged into uh, the Delta system. Well, that was fun. We'll have to do that again sometime. No, thank you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>